Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, and this video is intended to give you some hints and tips in creating surveys or forms in Google Docs. I assume that you already know how to create a survey, but this video goes a step further and gives you some other hints and tips on utilizing those surveys. So, here's a survey that I actually created a while back, and I used it to collect some important data to help me plan a in-service for teachers. Um, just a couple little tips uh, on, sur on your surveys. If you notice, when I put my cursor over a particular question, you get three little icons over here. These are really nice because if you ever make a mistake, sometimes people are like, oh, how do I fix it? Well, you can click the pencil or the edit button and do a little fixing that way if you want to. You can also, if you have very a lot of questions that are very similar, you can duplicate the question and then just go in and change one of them slightly, or you can actually delete a question. Another little unknown fact that a lot of people don't realize is that you can actually move the question order around. So I'm going to grab that and I can just drag it and move it down to another location. So notice what I'm doing is I'm putting my cursor um, near the question and then I just click and hold and drag and I can change it. Um, another thing that you may not be aware of is, and I really like this one, is under more actions, if you click here, you can edit the confirmation. Now what the confirmation is, is once a person fills out the survey, this is what they see afterward. I personally like to get this a little more personalized. So you can just come in here and you can change it to whatever you want it to say and then you can save it. Um, you know, thank you, I appreciate taking your time. This data will help us do a more effective job of planning um, the tra upcoming training or whatever you want it to say. Um, also on this page, at the very bottom, this is pretty important, it says you can view the published form here. When a person takes the survey, this is not the view they see. This is called the editing view. Only people who have rights, like you, the creator, see this view. If you come down here and put your cursor on this link, this is what they will see when they take the survey. Looks much nicer, doesn't it? So. What's important about this is this actually, for this survey, there is a, it has a unique URL. A URL is just basically the web address. And it's like, a, it's like the URL to a website. And this is the link that you actually want people to go to. Now, it's a, quite a long one. It's kind of ugly. You know, it has lots of letters and stuff in it. It's kind of, it would be hard to type. But that is the one that you would want them to go to. Now let me go back over here to the spreadsheet view. The biggest mistake that people make is they'll come over to the share and they'll say invite people. When you invite people, you are not inviting people to actually take the survey. You are inviting people to see the data that is submitted from the survey. Now you have to think long and hard. Do you want that? Some of the times, for example, in this example, I may want some of the people that are helping me plan this training to see the data, but I don't need to have all of the participants see the data. So use this wisely. So I'm going to come over here and hit invite people. Now you would type in the email address of the person that you want to see or edit. Notice you can edit or just view this data. What's important about this is you make sure you send it to the correct email address. For example, somebody at my work doesn't use their work email as their Google email. So I had to ask them, hey, what's, what email address do you use for your Google account? And then I type that one in. Over here, you can send a simple message if you want. It's like, hey, this survey is for um, our smart board training, um, you know, take a look at it. But oftentimes what happens with these is they end up in junk email folder. So sometimes people miss it. Oftentimes what I do is I just skip sending the message altogether, particularly if I know the person and I say, hey, I'm going to add you as an editor to this particular survey. I click 
add without sending invitation. What that does is that survey just automatically shows up in their Google Docs the next time they log in to Google Docs. Pretty easy. So keep that in mind. You can also, it says you can email this as an attachment, but the problem that I, again that I have with that is it often ends up in people's junk email. So let me show you my favorite way to share a survey and to get that survey out. So I'm going to go to form, go to live form. Now this, this is what I want people to see. There's the URL right up there, right? So I'm going to click on it. It's all highlighted in blue. I'm going to copy it. And now I'm going to go to my own email and I'm going to just send it in my own email. Most likely, then it won't get sent in people's junk box or their junk email box. I can type who I want it to. I can put over here, survey, um, whatever I want to put. Now here is a little tip that I think will be very useful for you. When you copy and paste a URL, and this is, works in a Word document, in an email, in a PowerPoint, in a wide variety of applications, this link, you can't really click on it right now. It's not an active link, but you can make it active very easy. Right after you paste it, if you press the space bar, let me try it again. I'm going to paste it in there. I kind of didn't do what I was supposed to do. I'm going to paste it and then immediately press the space bar or the enter key. It turns it into a hyperlink, which means it's clickable. You can click on it. It takes you to their survey. So here, watch. When I click on that link, guess where it takes me? Woohoo! Right to the survey. So that is my favorite way of sharing a survey with people. Now, if you're trying to turn this in for an assignment into Moodle, what I would want you to do is you could open up a Microsoft Word document, paste it in there. Now, how do I get that hyperlink? I can either hit a space bar or the enter key. And then you can type a sentence or two and tell me what you're using the survey for, okay? Now I'm going to go back to my survey here and where the this is the where the data is going to come in. Um, let's say that you want to change something on this. You're like, oh darn, you know, how do I get back into the editing mode of this? You just go to form, edit form, and guess what? It takes you right back there. When you're done editing, just close that window and it takes you back here. To get back to your Google Docs. You click on where it says Google Docs and it takes you back there. Pretty cool, right? Alrighty, so I hope that those hints and tips will help you become more proficient in using um, the Google Docs part of the, the forms and creating surveys or using it as a way to collect data. It's really, really a great tool. I use it all the time. Thanks. Bye.